Good morning, everyone. We're going to take a look here at the charts because I know you've seen the price action. But first, I want to point out that shorts are absolutely getting bent over right now. They are running out of here. We are negative 77 percent on the day already. Um, this is what I meant earlier when I said they're going to grab ankles. This is going to be nastier than a Walmart restroom. They're going to get folded like a beach chair. This is exactly what has happened right now. They are getting absolutely killed. And I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a beautiful thing here. I love seeing them uh, get wrecked. This is like that uh, that meme I just put on Twitter when I said uh, with the SpongeBob meme when it says, "How many times we have to teach you this old this lesson, old man?" This is exactly what I mean here. They are learning a very hard lesson that Dogecoin is no longer a meme coin. So if they're going to keep doing this, then certainly uh, it, they'll keep losing money. So eventually they'll get the they'll, they'll get the picture eventually. So. Let's take a look here at the price action because I love it when the TA works perfectly. If you watch any of my last few videos, I've been telling you that this here is a big zone for us and it is gap territory. Matter of fact, let me zoom back in. This is exactly what's happening right here. Massive candle. This is what I meant by gap territory. Um, the next major pivot points, we have a light resistance at around 22 cent. But the biggest ones are going to be as far as for 26 to 30 cent. That's going to be the next window. But this year is absolutely gap territory. So if we can close in this zone, it's going to be absolutely perfect. So this is the zone that we're in now. This is why it was so crucial for us to get in here. But as you can see, this block ends way up here at around 29.6. So this is a great run here. Um, we're going to see um, how the... Uh, the shorts respond, but more than likely they're going to back off for now. So this is all price action and whether or not people uh, want positions or if we're going to get like some macro news, like a Bitcoin um, bear or something like that. But other than that, this is all good news. This is all going to trickle over into the momentum that we're seeing. This is the evidence that we were looking at um, previously when we were talking about the two to one longs versus the shorts. Um, they, they've been positioning for this since 18 cent. And this is why it's it's important to look behind the scenes and kind of get an idea because sometimes if it's the price action kind of lags behind the position that's being taken by a few days. So this is why if you see that struggle with around 18, uh, 19 cent, and we were able to kind of see and foretell that kind of coming basically because we were hitting 18, 19 cent two, three times, four times in the same day. That's letting you know that's going to uh, soon break out, right? It's kind of like a, a chick breaking out of an egg. Like once it starts hitting the outside wall re repetitiously, not every day, so it's, like at some point it's like, okay, once a day you test, you go back down, then it's twice a day. And then you start hitting it like every couple of hours you're hitting against the wall. That's you can kind of get an idea that you're going to soon have a um, a breakout, and that's kind of what happened here. So let's take a look here at shorts versus long to get an idea to see how that kind of played out. So this is what I meant earlier here by shorts getting liquidated. <laughs> we haven't gotten the new data yet because this new data that we just seen come out uh, has not been reflected, but it has updated since my last video. Shorts liquidated so far just off of these exchanges here is 10.5 million. We have more to come. This number is going to go up dramatically when we get the the numbers that we just seen. We just got that 77 percent drop here recently. So then it just hasn't updated yet. Um, maybe later today we'll take a look back at this and see the new numbers. But this number is going to keep going up uh, as short start uh, running out of this uh, coin for right now. So open interest, I imagine, is going to go through. <laughs> yep. Open interest is going through the roof. Uh, 31.10 percent. It has been increasing almost like every hour now, like uh, today we gained another hundred million dollars in about eight hours. And now we are at one point eight billion in open interest. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, we are headed toward uh, two billion dollars in open interest. Now, this is option contracts. Uh, I can't imagine what this number is going to look like once we get futures. But this is. This is the bull market, guys. This is what people have been waiting for the last few years. I know a lot of people got scared at around 18 cent and they said it was going to go back to eight cent and all that kind of good stuff. You have to like the worst thing I can say as far as for somebody who has been patient through the bear market is to get spooked early in the bull market, because at that point, you've kind of thrown away your patience and the, re the greatest reward for your patience. We are still very early in the bull market. 
and we have not seen the best of those. We have X payments, we have futures, those guaranteed um, momentum as far as we're coming into the coin. We have a lot of things that are coming our way that's going to build that foundation around Dogecoin. And the beautiful thing is now this is running um, organically. Shorts are coming out. So we don't have that short pressure, that guaranteed sell order that counts immediately against Dogecoin. So now we have a window of opportunity here where Dogecoin can move more freely without some of that uh, tricky, you know, shorts, how they, how they push those sell orders in there immediately and you return it later and all that BS. So now we have a, a window of opportunity to for Dogecoin to move organically. And also Elon hasn't been tweeting about Dogecoin. So this isn't tied to a, a like a, a pump and dump or a bunch of swing traders jumping in because Elon said something like, oh, hey, let's make a quick buck. This is moving organically. This is the community. This is the foundation that's being built around the coin. This is um, the really you're seeing evidence here of the longevity of the coin. This is um, like I said in my last video, if you want to say Doge is still a meme coin, it's the king of meme coins. So um, Doge is here and I'm going to take a look here. It should be relatively close to flipping uh, USDC. So um, and and closing in on XRP, to be honest with you. So this is no longer a this is not a drill. <laughs> Let's take a look here. Get coin market cap up. We are at yep, less than yep, less than two billion dollars away from flipping USDC. This is not a game, people. This we are about four billion away from flipping XRP. So I believe sometime probably within the next 24 to 48 hours, we're going to be number seven. This is like this is what we have here as far as where it has not been able to. We've seen a lot of coins say that they were going to duplicate what Dogecoin has done and be the next Dogecoin, be a, a better version of Dogecoin. We have not seen anything come close. This is the uh, original. This is this is just really exciting to see here because a lot of times you can say that the first bull market was a fluke because of covid and people were home and people had extra stimulus money and because of elon pumping it and it, it was just all these conspiracy theories around it and now you're seeing the evidence that this was not a, a flash in the pan this wasn't a a fluke a, a once and done type of thing doge is making its mark here and it's soon going to break another record um, the price action that we've seen in the charts, we're going to go back to the charts in a moment, but the price action that we saw is Dogecoin has broke a 52 week high. Dogecoin right now, we've had the most aggressive trend. As a matter of fact, let me go back to the charts because I don't want to miss out on this. Dogecoin has broken so many records here and recently even with this trend and the fact that we're even running early is absolutely incredible because technically this is what i meant by people are complaining about the 18 cent i was like technically we're not even supposed to be running right now we're running before the having we're running with bitcoin initially like this is and then sometimes we're even running you know without bitcoin bitcoin's red and doge is still running like we're like breaking that, you know, having that severance against the coin. This is uh, amazing here. Um, let's see. Yep. So this here um, is the, the the price action that we're dealing with now. And this is the trends that we're talking about. We had this run here. This here is a historic run. We were threatening to do an inverse head and shoulders, but it looks like um, we were going to continue this bullish trend here. Since we had this reversal candle, we've had we've only had two red days. So out of the nine out of the last nine days, we've only had two red days. So this is certainly a bullish uptrend that we're seeing. And we are it's looking pretty positive that we're going to close somewhere in this zone here. So this is what this is the beginning of leg two. We're going to see where we go on the next target is again, if you're using 0.5 on the fib, uh, you can say um, it's going to be around 26 cent. I don't typically use it, but um, if I'm being fair, I'll say oh, they're too much. If I, if I did, if I'm being fair, I'll say 26 to 30 cent though. But um, in my opinion, I believe that we're going to be looking somewhere closer to 30 cent. 
Um, so we'll see. The only thing that can kind of, you know, I'll say trip this up would be like a maybe like a big whale dumping or something. But I don't think that's going to I don't think it's going to happen right now just because of the the strength of this movement. And even if they do want to take profit, they'll probably wait a little later. So if it does, um, again, we're still early in the market. So that's just going to be a great um, opportunity here for those who are late to the party, because you have to rem rem uh, remember that we're getting over we're getting about 100 we're getting about 200,000 new dogecoin holders per month so there are people right now that are returning to dogecoin that left in 2021 and went you know chasing other meme coins and then there are people who are buying into doge for the very first time so as a community you just have to make sure that you know you're welcoming uh, you know answering questions if you can and trying to point them in the right direction um, if you watched the video we've been growing um, I think we grew, um, what's 200,000 wallets in January, um, 400,000 wallets in February. And when I checked two weeks ago, we were over 60,000 wallets in March. And I, I can only imagine what that's going to do now that we're making headlines as far as breaking 52 week highs, et cetera. So this community is going to grow massively. Uh, we've already almost doubled since the first bull run. So I expect us to reach 8 million, 10 million holders here within the next few months. And we're going to uh, have more than double the holders that we had previously. So all of that's going to count toward um, the buying pressure that's in the, uh, the actual coin. All of that's going to play a factor going forward. And to, um, you know, as far as we're holding cycles, where we have those retracements, how strong those retracements are. So it's a little different from what happened in 2021 because it's not hype based. So it's kind of like what I said uh, in my community section when I said the first time we had Hopium, now we have Vaxium. <laughs> so uh, this is we're, we're building on a more uh, concrete foundation or this, this go around. So uh, I'm, I'm very excited to see it. Uh, this is going to be very historic for the coin we've already done so much and i think there is much more to do and we will chart this as it goes um especially around here we'll see if some of those uh, longs or if any of the big whales and stuff want to take profit we'll see but as of right now this is we are breaking into this zone and this is gap territory so with that, um, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We're going to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. I want you guys to be in that number so we can make history right along with uh, Dogecoin. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, especially if you're new to the Dogecoin. If you're just coming in or coming back and you haven't been in the loop, you know, we'll certainly try and get you some information here so you can compound that with your, with your own research. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next update.